my three favorite penny stocks to invest in for the long term potential. What is happening investors? It is your boy Jack. I am not a financial advisor. And today we have three very exciting penny stocks that I want to speak about. Now what I want to say in today's video is that all of the companies we're going to look at today I think have great long term potential. You of course could choose to swing trade any of these companies but I think ultimately holding on to them for a while is going to give you the best returns. The three companies we have spoken about today I have made full videos on as well so if you want full deep dives into any of these companies they are available on my channel. And I do own a position in two of these companies as it stands so when we get to those I will let you know. There's a lot of hype on YouTube in regards to penny stocks right now but I want to show you guys that they can be long-term investments so my friends right before we do get into our first juicy company of today can I please ask you to hit that juicy like button drop me a comment down below I'm interested what are you know one to three of your favorite penny stocks to invest in right now and please my friend if you are indeed new around here hit that juicy red subscribe button we're trying to get to a hundred thousand subs baby so I can get that plaque get it on the wall if you are interested in joining my private discord group that's the first link in the description my friends you get access to all of my buy and sell alerts for you know every single single stock I ever buy, access to over 50 private channels, you join a community of over 2100 investors who share their thoughts and insights every single day, it is a juicy community and we are eating baguettes in January let me tell you and if you'd like to get four free stocks on Weeble that's the second link in the description you have to sign up deposit $100 really is that simple my friends two of those stocks can be worth $3,700 each now let's not waste any of your time the first company we want to speak about today is a fan favorite on the channel. It's OEG, Orbital Energy Group. And this was one of the first penny stocks that I personally looked into that I saw absolutely huge long-term potential in. I believe I was the first person to cover these on YouTube and we did so at 148 a share. So you can see now we're at $5.00. It's been a fantastic run up. Since we initially covered them, they're up at about 237%. Now I am quite sad to say that I don't actually have a position in these guys at the moment. I have swung traded them on two separate occasions, but I only made, I think it was 20% and maybe six or 7%. So nowhere near the same amount that I would have if I just held onto my shares. But obviously now it's $5 a share. I first covered them at 148. This shows the potential of what actually investing in penny stocks can do. And I think these guys still have an absolutely huge amount of potential even at five dollars a share or a 230 million dollar market cap so these guys are interesting they're leading the pursuit of energy services and you can see one of the things they have is orbital solar and when i made my first video on them that's what i was putting a whole lot of emphasis on and that's what really got me excited about this company their valuation at the time and their future growth prospects now of course when it comes to penny stocks there quite often is a few red flags and the primary one i saw with this company was the balance sheet in all honesty? I would have liked them to have a little bit more cash. And you can see that just back on January 19, okay, they announced the closing of a $35 million registered direct offering. They sold 10 million shares at $350 a share. Now they're all the way up at five, baby. But the point stands that these guys have raised capital, which is exactly what they needed to do. Their last quarterly report, we had revenues of $13.6 million, which was a 75% sequential increase compared to 7.8 million in the second quarter, and 124% increase compared to 6.1 million in the third quarter of 2019. So the growth has been very good and they essentially completely changed the way the company would be working going forwards in this quarter their backlog in the last quarter increased six million dollars to 43 and a half million dollars total now keep in mind when i initially spoke about these guys i know their market cap is 231 million now it was much smaller it would have been closer to what 80 ish million maybe so it was very small so to have that sort of a backlog with that sort of a market cap and that sort of quarter over quarter growth you know it didn't make sense they kind of had to go up and that's exactly what they did now the main red flag was at the end of the third quarter they had cash and equivalents of 4.1 million dollars and restricted cash of 3.6 million the net loss for that quarter was 3.2 million so you can see that they weren't really in a position to grow and that's why my primary concern was that cash position so again a very clear example of where doing a direct offering can be a fantastic thing for the company they raised 35 million they made their balance sheet much more attractive and has put them in a position to continue to grow which is exactly what i expected to happen so yes there has been a very very large run-up and no i don't have a position at current prices but i do genuinely think these guys have an immense amount of long-term potential but if this stock has taught me anything it's that when i've done my due diligence and when i've researched the company and i really do believe in them it's worth investing that's exactly what i should have done i didn't i would have been up a lot of money right now had i have done so it is what it is you win some you lose so my friends as long as you learn from everything you do in this game you're only going to become a better investor now the second company we're going to speak about today is a company called biolase okay the worldwide leader in dental lasers and only very recently did i open a position in these guys and you'll see that position on the screen now you'll see how many shares i have what i'm up it's nothing crazy because i literally did get into them i believe it was on thursday so if i show you these guys one month chart you can see it's been absolutely incredible for them they're already up 170 
73% on the month. Now keep in mind, I only got in at about 101, so I'm not up <laughs> very much whatsoever. I have a full 16 minute video going in depth on this company and why I really do like them. If you would like more information on these guys. When I initially got into this company, I planned on doing a swing trade in all honesty. These guys were very close to losing their NASDAQ listed status because they were below $1 a share for so, so long. So essentially what the team decided to do is they were going to do a one to 25 stock split just to keep above that $1 threshold. Now this is not something that people wanted to happen by any means whatsoever. And so it was quite risky holding this going into the weekend because that's when the shareholder vote was happening. So after there was an AK filing came out from BioLace, okay, showing that the reverse split they sought after didn't receive enough votes to move forward. So they're going to have another meeting now on February 16th, but essentially it shows that shareholders don't want this reverse split to happen which does mean that there is confidence these guys are going to be able to stay above $1 a share. So for somebody like me who got in at 101, you know, general market sentiment is that we're going to be able to maintain above $1 a share. If the split doesn't go through, I think that's going to be a catalyst for this company. But the real catalyst come when you start looking into this company again. I expected it to be a swing because I expected a very volatile Friday and Monday. Initially, I was going to get out maybe 20 to 30% gains. And now I could see myself holding these guys for a long time. And the guys in the Discord will attest to that. I initially wanted a swing. I couldn't bring myself to sell. I was up like 10, 15%. Then it was back down. And the more I looked into the company, the more I realized how much potential these guys have. I think very similarly to how I felt with OEG, I would regret not holding on to these shares. I, I know I could get a nice, maybe quick 15, 20% profit if there is a big spike in the market or if a single piece of news comes out. But ultimately, I think if I hold them for a few months or potentially a year plus, I could be looking at hundreds and hundreds of percent gains. Now, of course, there is no guarantee. We are playing with penny stocks. There are lots of risks involved. A lot of them won't do well and a lot of them will lose people money. We do have a very good track record so far. Out of 17 companies I've called and made individual videos on over the last month or so, only one of them is down and that's Gaxi which is down three and a half percent. We have several that are up 100 and 200 plus percent. I wanted to sell these guys and just get a quick profit, but I couldn't. The more I look into the company, the more I believe in them, and the more I think they have immense long-term potential. So what's different between these guys and OEG is, you know, they were all the way down at, you know, 30 cents a share or so back in December. They have gone on a really nice run, but I think there is a lot more room for these guys to make even more runs. But these guys have sold over 40,000 laser systems into over 80 countries. They have a large IP portfolio of 253 issued and 43 pending patents worth $30 million themselves. The company has a market cap of $97 million. What I will say is I do think the next week or two in particular are going to be very volatile and could be very good or very poor for the company, depending on market sentiment and depending on how people react to this stock split. So just do be aware of that. I think if they are to fall below $1 with quite a bit of momentum, it could see quite a considerable pullback. So make sure you're aware of that risk. But all in all, I really like them. I mean, they have a lot of products out there. They have some really good IPs. It looks exciting. Now here is another one that I initially planned on swinging. It is TMDI. And I got into these guys at a really good time. I got in at 208, you will see, during this huge upward candle. I was actually up about 50% in these guys in the first day of buying them. Now you can see it's been extremely volatile. There's been some big pullbacks, some big upwards moves. It's been all over the place in all honesty. And again, my initial price target for the swing was actually around 280 and you can see they hit about 304. So again, when that happens, when something happens so quickly, it's very easy to sell and run away with your profit. By the way, here is my position as of right now on the screen, so full transparency. It's very easy to run away with that money. I mean, I had made thousands and thousands within the span of six, seven hours. But again, I had to take a step back and I just looked at the company and I realized that there is a reason they are moving this quickly. And it's because it's a really good company in a really good position to grow over the coming months. And I know a lot of time we look at penny stocks and you know, we treat them as swing trades. We get our 10, 15, 20% within one, two, three days and we're happy. But ultimately the big money does come from picking the right penny stocks and investing in them, not trading them, investing in them. Not that there's anything wrong with swing trading. I'm still gonna do it sometimes, but this company looks incredible. So these guys are focused on robotic assisted technologies and essentially they're developing this single access surgical platform intended to perform general abdominal surgeries through a single access point. There are quite a few companies out there like this as of right now. A lot of them are more so focused on minimally invasive surgeries as opposed to single access surgical platforms. They all have their place. And again, this is a company who has 64 US and international patents issued and 86 applications pending. 
And particularly when you're looking at penny stocks, my friends, you really have to do focus on their IP portfolios more so than some of the big guys. Because this genuinely can be some of the most important information about these companies. They also do have over 45 procedures performed to date. And there are also nine peer reviewed abstract reviews out there right now. So this is one, obviously when you look at the stock chart, it's not the prettiest. You look at that one month chart, they have their big ups, they have their big downs. Then they have that really big up, a really big down. Again, I think this is the kind of one where if you come back in three, four months and you look at that six months out, it's going to be looking very nice. But again, guys, of course, they carry considerable risk. It's a penny stock. It has the potential to lose a lot of value very, very quickly. News can move these companies very quickly. And if you want that full video on this company, it'll be in the corner of the screen right now. So you guys can go check it out. But my friend, they are right now three of my favorite long-term penny stocks to invest in. Two of which I do own positions in. OEG, I'm watching very closely. If you watch this video all the way till the end, you are a true legend, my friend. And I really do appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed the video, could I please ask you to hit that juicy like button? Drop me a comment down below and please, my friends, subscribe if you're new around here. Also, if you are interested in that private Discord group, again, you get all of my buy and sell alerts for my penny stocks, my long-term investments, my EVs, my growths, everything. Access to over 50 private channels, a community of over 2,100 investors. It's juicy. And if you want those free stocks on Weeble, that's the second link in the description, my friends. Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed day. I'll see you in another video very soon. Peace.